It's super awkward and takes a while to get used to, yeah, and I'm going to fuck it up a bunch. All right, welcome <laughs> to uh, another episode of Banged Up. This is our first guest we've ever had in the podcast, and uh, she's my sister, so <laughs> unfortunately, it's not as cool as some of you think, but it's also kind of cool because recently, you just won an X Games gold medal, which is pretty fucking sick. Yeah. Mad respect. Thank you. And I know some of you guys want a lot of ski content on the podcast, so we're going to try to bring that in with our first guest. Hopefully we can get some more cool guests on here. I have a couple people asking to be on, and we're going to try to get as many people on as possible. I would love to just rage my spear with random people, so cheers. It's so nice to just be able to edit it after, because then it's like super cringy. All right, so I got a couple questions for eggs, and uh, kind of want to talk about what you've been up to lately. So first thing, what have you been doing over the last couple of years, like... You, um, you graduated high school two years ago? One year ago. One year yeah. ago. Oh, so shit. So last year I finished days. high school. I finished all my credits that I needed, but still kind of taken a couple here and there just to keep with it. But for the most part, just skiing and enjoying life. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. Yeah. I was going to say, uh, how has your life changed since you became a skier like full time? Um, I know you're still doing a little bit of online courses and a little bit of stuff like that. Yeah. Which, would you say a lot of people are at your level doing online school? Or? Uh, I wouldn't say so, no. Mm-hmm. Like, I think a lot of people try to do it, but it's pretty difficult. Yeah. Like, it's pretty hard to juggle both. So, if people are, they're doing, like, me just one course at a time. Eh. Yeah, you're only pretty doing one slow. course right now? Yeah, yeah. So. And how it's changed, I mean, it's definitely different, just more in the sense that, like, uh, I'm still skiing lots, but it's just more competitively, I guess. Like, every aspect of... What I do now is just more intense. Like, I should be going to the gym every single day. I have a trainer now that I see. You really got to focus on, like, what you eat, what you're putting in your body, stretching every night. Like, just the little things that help uh, help you to become a better athlete. So, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I was going to say, this podcast sure. is taking a little different turn than most of our podcasts because most of the time I just spew random bullshit. <laughs> but this is going to be somewhat educational and maybe inspiring for some of you little cum clams out there. But, yeah. Um, so I think it's really important that you let all these guys know, like, what do you think is the best way to get ahead right now? I know you mentioned, like, um, getting ahead by doing gym stuff, mental stuff, Mm -hmm. eating healthy and all that, but what would you say is the most important thing if you had to pick one? The most important thing, oh, that's really hard to say. Um, for me, probably in terms of, like, progressing in skiing, I would say it's, like, going out and having days with your friends where you all like in the summer where you all just like kind of back each other up and hype each other up on tricks and just start kind of sending but like with a controlled set yeah Yeah. a control send because i think for sure that really like progresses where you go it's hard to just go out by yourself and be like okay i'm gonna learn these three tricks today yeah Yeah. for all you guys that know me and megan's pretty similar i'm a huge proponent of send until you can't send anymore but it's a reasonable send because if you get hurt yeah. Then you're out for a year, half a year, and it's just not, you're not progressing. It just puts you back farther than if you were to just tone it back a little bit. But you also have to push yourself and not be a bitch to and go send. I like that, eggs. Good job. Um, another thing I want to ask you is what would you say as advice to young kids coming up trying to go pro and skiing, not just trying to do it for fun? Um, I'd say, like, if you're trying to go pro, it's pretty important to, like, know a lot about the sport before you get into it, which I think... Uh, if I could go back in time, I wish I did a little bit more of that because I kind of just, like, jumped into it and learned as I went. But I think it's important to kind of, like, yeah. have an idea of who's in the community, watch people, like, learn about their style and, like, different things and kind of, like, choose from there, like, how you want to ski personally. Because yeah. you learn a lot just from watching what people do and, like... And also, again, there's, like, a little bit of the, like, injury prevention stuff. Like, before, like, if I were to go back again, I would do so much more gym stuff before getting into it. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, for sure. I actually did a little video because somebody asked me to, like, six things that would help get better at skiing. And I said one of the things is getting to know the community and getting to know, like, tricks and stuff. Because, like, literally up until, like, two years ago, even last year, you still don't know the name of some real tricks. Yeah, and I'll (laughs) be honest, like, some grabs, I'm, like oh, that was cool, but I don't know what it is, and that's so bad, like, (laughs) I should be able to know every single grab and every trick that even the guys are doing, but yeah, when you have, when you're at the level you are, you should be, like, getting to know it, but that's part of the reason, because you got, you got rushed up through the sport, like, really fast, like, how long have you been slopestyle skiing for, like, let's be real, slopestyle skiing, this is, like, my third, third year, like, competing, yeah, third year competing, like, training nor am level and then i did two level two years like this is my second year world cup level so not a lot no like you've like 
I think like it was like four to five years ago I got you to like start doing your first yeah, 60s I think and stuff. Four years ago was like my first yeah. backflip. So I think that's part of the reason that you kind of came mm-hmm. up so fast. Yeah. You're also not really into skiing when you were younger. Eh? You're more no, doing like. No, I. Yeah, it's kind of funny because I remember you used to always like push me like you should do freestyle skiing you'd be yeah. good and I remember thinking that is the dumbest thing ever like why would I ever want to do that I don't know why <laughs> Look here you are. for some reason yeah you're so. in the porn dungeon yeah next to the banged up side <laughs> on the greasy casting couch mm-hmm. having a chat with your brother yeah exactly <laughs> that's excellent times excellent times all right I was gonna say what are your favorite things to do outside of skiing other than watching the bachelor <laughs> Yeah, I do enjoy The Bachelor, for sure. <laughs> Guilty pleasure. Um, but besides that, I would say um, just being at home, like, I really like to spend some time outside. Like, with you, obviously, we do a bunch of stuff. We try to yeah. skateboarding, tramp a bunch at home because we have a, an Olympic tramp, which is super dope and really helpful for progression. But um, mostly just, like, hanging out with friends when I'm home. Spend some downtime, kind of, like, get away from skiing yeah, a take little a break bit, from which, it. like, I think also is really important because you can't, like... You can't be 100% thinking about it absolutely every second. Like, it's nice to just kind of unwind and, yeah. like, enjoy time with people. You can definitely get burnt out pretty quick. Yeah, especially do if you that, keep for that sure. pace up. Mm-hmm. One other thing I wanted to say is, what's the coolest place you've been for skiing so far? Ooh, like, coolest ski hill? Um, like, coolest trip. Let's coolest go, like, trip. coolest okay. trip and hole. Yeah, like, I'd say my coolest trip was probably last year, my first season with the national team. We did... This little stint where we went from um, a World Cup in France straight to a World Cup in Italy, but there was, like, ten days in between. So we just, like, freelance that week. We all just decided, like, we're not going to fly. We're just going to drive as a, t- as a team. And we yeah. just, like, drove down there and would just randomly be like, okay, let's stop in this town for the night and book an Airbnb. Yeah. So we just did a whole bunch of, like, hiking and exploring, which was so fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, couple other questions. We got like two or three more, and we'll wrap this up. Yeah. A lot of kids ask me uh, how to get sponsors and what's like the best way to go about it. And I figured having somebody like you talk about it mm. might help. Um, I don't know. Sponsors is definitely a tricky thing. Like even for me, I'm still kind of like just getting into it because it's hard. You really have to make a name for yourself before you start to get these really good sponsors, uh, and deals where you're being paid. But uh, I think, especially in today's day, like, the most important part is just, like, sharing what you're doing day to day, like, in terms of skiing. So you should be posting stuff, sharing it with your viewers, like, you kind of make a name for yourself that way. And then also just, like, skiing your hardest. And then, obviously, people see, like, they respect. It catches on. Yeah, they respect your skiing and, like, what you do. And it kind of just builds from there. All right. And the age-old question, can you make money as a skier? (laughs) Obviously, you're not quite at the point where you're, like, maximizing everything yet. Mm -hmm. But you're definitely starting to make a little bit of money as a skier. What would you say? Is it possible or is it pretty, uh, it's a a big dream. For sure it's possible. Um, Highest paid athletes are making so much money, like. In skiing? Mark McMorris. Yeah, like those guys are making people. huge money. I'd say it's not more off of skiing itself, but more off of, like... What you do outside Partnerships. It. So, like, yeah. you brand up with a big company like Apple, and obviously you're going to be making yeah. lots of money. Um, in terms of, like, winning contests, it sounds like a lot of money. Like, when you say, like, first place is, like, 15 grand, but really, when you think about it, like... That's, Travel costs. That's not stuff. a lot of money. Like, you end up spending so much money on flights and... Like, training, all this extra stuff. And you have to win, too. Yeah, 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 and you have to win. And that's just, like, a World Cup, so, like, that's it's pretty hard to win a World so Cup. So, would you say, like, in terms of making money in the skiing industry, you kind of have to branch outside of the sport of just competing and making money through contests? Because for me, personally, there's no money in contests, especially yeah. until you get up to World Cups. Like, even World Cup level, it doesn't pay for itself unless you really win. Mm-hmm. But, like, in anything lower than world cups like you're not even gonna pay for your flight yeah. or your registration yeah, fees yeah. barely like you get like maybe two grand if you're lucky and that covers half your trip or your trip yeah no for sure i'd say it's basically the same thing like you can make some money off of skiing through contests but you have to be winning every single con- yeah. con- contest of the entire year so like yeah. it's pretty unrealistic you definitely need to branch out and try and get those uh, sponsorships and even just promote yourself in other ways. To and then a lot of people ask the question, like, when you have big sponsors like mm-hmm. Red Bull and Monster stuff, you're not there yet, no. quite yet. Hopefully soon, because I want free Red Bull and I want to rage my spear, <laughs> get some free wings. But, uh, yeah, you get, do your, like, do sponsors usually uh, prize match comps, or um, it, does it depend on the kind of deal you have with them? Yeah, uh, 
it's I don't know a ton about it either yet because I'm still kind of new. But from my understanding, it's more just uh, what kind of deal you have with the company. So that like you have like your basic contract, and then it kind of goes up from there. But for the most part, they do have incentives. So they'll they'll match. For instance, like I know a couple athletes that uh, if they make winnings from like X Games or whatever, Red Bull or whatever energy jump drink company they have will match the exact same yeah. amount. But obviously there's like caps on that because they can't be paying you like if you're winning every single comp yeah. they can't like pay you can't match that every single comp. Yeah. So there's like a there's there. like a max on your incentives but Cool. Next. And the last question I want to ask you is what's next? What's in the next right. coming years? Where do you self where do you see yourself in the next five years? I'd say, like, the next five years will probably be pretty similar, like, to this year. So, same, lots of training. Like, probably try and drive that up some more. Um, I know, like, two years to the Olympics, so that's a pretty big one for us. Definitely really, really want to be there, so that's going to be a big goal of mine. Um, but other than that, still just competing in World Cups, hopefully more X Games, and hopefully five years from now I'll have a little bit better deals and some more <laughs> actually make some money so actually you can support your brother more money yeah. yeah yeah for sure but basically the same just a little bit more intense i'd say yeah just up it a bit yeah yeah worked on the race all right well sick max nice having thank you thank you yeah first uh, guest on the podcast say uh congrats to megan drop a comment if you guys want any other guests or any other people you want to see and uh i hope that was all right for you guys because it's the first time i've ever done it first time eggs has ever done it mm. and it's kind of interviewee <laughs> So we're going to try to make it a little more conversational next time. But, yeah, much love from the kid. Say goodbye, Megan. Be nice. Goodbye. All right, peace, guys.